It's probably no surprise to anyone, but it's raining yet again. So today, I wanted to do some indoor activities, and I wanted to make some LEDs to go in here. Submersible LEDs are really expensive, so what I've done is, I've bought this. This is a water blaster from B&M Bargains, which we paid £1.29 for. Um, what I'm going to plan on doing is, take the end caps off, seal it up, put some normal LEDs inside, see if we can get it to hold water. That's the plan of action for today. So to start with, I took the end cap off and the piston out of the central bit and um, drilled a hole in so the LED connector would fit through it. Then we folded up some LEDs and put these in. So these were just cheap ones that I used for upstairs in the house, tested those. And then what I did was I put the piston back in, as you can see here, and then I sealed that in place in the center first and then sealed up the end. Then I put the end cap back on and then I also sealed up the other end. So I left that for 24 hours and tried to keep the cable right in the center so it wouldn't move around anywhere. And this is the result after. So 24 hours has passed. What I've done, I have put the tube into the water. It seems to be retaining water quite well at the moment. Silicon's nice and dry. So fingers crossed when we turn this on, it should still work. So give that a try now and hopefully we'll have some light. So here we go. So three, two, one. Oh yes. I am well happy with that. So once it gets a tiny little bit darker, I'll get another video of this because it's still a little bit light at the moment, but I'm really, really happy with that. 